Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to kind of cover uh, one topic that a lot of you guys have been asking me here on the channel like crazy. How do you secure profit? Um, again, this is a very important topic because most of you guys that are new to trading, you tend to be so greedy. That's why I have these shares called. Don't be a greedy savage because that's what's going to get you in trouble. So I'm going to explain to you guys um, what I do and how you can actually adapt and, and stick to your plan so that you can secure profit and be happy about it. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to you know, trading, guys, the, one of the most difficult part is know when to get out. Uh, because for the most part, people tend to do two things and do them really bad. Um, they tend to hang on when the stock is dropping, hoping that it would go back up. Or they tend to hang on to profit, hoping that it's going to keep going back up. Um, that's going to keep going up. So those two things will get you in trouble. Um, and the reason why you use, I use the word hope is because you didn't use your plan. Because if you had your strategy and you had your plan, then you wouldn't be hoping. Once it hits that particular area, you have a plan of action. So do you have a plan? So if you were trading, uh, again, I don't want to hear like, oh, but I thought it was going to go up. But put some securities in place. Put some 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 kind of I call like a circuit breakers in place so that if it goes against you, you're safe. If it goes in your favor, you are safe. So uh, the first security uh, uh, break we will put here is if you go into a trade, if you're new to the business, I'll say stop losses should be your friend. And it's gonna be frustrating to start with because you're gonna be looking for that that percentage. But um, I don't think that's one size fit all. You should definitely know when to get out. Not somebody's uh, percentage that you, you heard looks like 5% loss, then I'm out. I don't want you to use that. This is your money. You understand um, how you earn that money and you know exactly how hard it would be for you if you if you lose it. So you should definitely determine what price or how much you want to lose in a particular trade before you get out. So let's say, for instance, you go into a trade. You put in your position. You said, hey, my take profit is, say, 10, 15, 20 percent, whatever. And my stop loss would be, say, three to five percent. You said that you stick to that goal. Once you start approaching, that, I don't want you to move that stop loss down because you think it's going to bounce. Sometimes it's going to come hit that stop loss, turn around and go back up, which is going to be so frustrating. But trust me, there's going to be times where it hits your stop loss and then go all the way down, which you're going to be like, whew, I'm so glad I used a stop loss. So uh, stop loss, they could be good as well as it could be frustrating, but you definitely need them. So again, the question is, how do you secure profit? If you're new and you're using Weibo, I want us to jump right in. I'm going to show you guys a very simple way uh, once you get into a position. Let's say, for instance, here, uh, you, you're looking at a particular stock. Um, in this case, I'm just going to pick a random stock here. Let's say we take uh, Meta Materia. Um, again, this is a stock that I have in my long-term portfolio. So let's say we take Meta Materia. Uh, if you're looking to open the position here, this thing is right now, uh, let's see, sitting at about, let me move this to the side, at about, so that's $5.21, right? Um, so at $5.21, I want to open a position. So if I go to buy, um, I put in the quantity, so I want 100. Then let's say I want to do it, I say $5. If we get to $5, that's where I want to get filled. So I put a limit order in Weibo during regular business hours or market hours. You have a stop loss here and, and take profit options. So it does the math for you. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, read through it and make sure that you really understand it. So let's say, for instance, right here, uh, it's showing you right now that your stop loss. Um, estimated loss would be about 50 bucks if you put it at 450 because we're buying at five and then you take profit right now at 50 uh, 5.5 means your, your estimated profit is 50 so let's say I move this to 650 and that is where I anticipate making profit so I'm gonna make 150 bucks and I'm only re ready to lose uh, 50 so if this is okay with you and then you can place this order um, and in this case Again, here's a flexibility that I want to show you guys that Weibo offers you. 
and you can do this in one of two ways. So the first one is, hey, if I place this order, and so here's my order, I'm gonna slide this so we can actually see this. So here's my buy order, and here is my, my target um, take profit. I'm gonna zoom in here so we can see. <clears throat> So here's my, my target take profit, um, as you can see here. So if if this thing ever got up to say $5 and let's say it fills me up, fills me at $5 and move up to say $5 and five cents or $5 and 50 cents, then I can start using my, my take profit or my stop loss. So I can move this up and down. It's very easy. You can just uh, click and drag, see, and then place it. I just automatically submit that. So here's my stop loss. Likewise, my stop loss. So let's say this thing moves up to um, $5.50, and then I got in at $5, I can just drag my stop loss real quick, real time, and drop it wherever I want it. I don't want to do that right now because um, obviously I'm not, in that, I'm, not, I'm not in the stock yet because I still have, an, uh, still have my open order. So you can see here, my open order is still sitting there. So again, this would be something that you would use. So in here, it's telling you your percentage. If you can see in here, so right now at this particular price, if I move this up a little bit, let's say I want 10% uh, profit. So right now at $5.50 means that's 10% profit, which is pretty good for the market. If you can, if you can average 10% per trade, you're doing excellent. Uh, likewise, if I if I look at my my stop loss here, it's right sitting at two point uh, two point around two percent. So if I if I leave it at two percent, then I say okay, that is where I want it. So that it, in case this thing were to go against me um, at two percent, it would just kick me out, and then I am good. I'm I'm out of the, the trade, and I don't have to worry about it. So that's something that you have to really develop and have that mentality and make sure you stick to that plan. Because uh, what I've noticed is that a lot of you guys, uh, when you are in the money, uh, you tend to be greedy. You don't want to secure profit. And then when you're out of the money, um, you tend to cling around in hoping that it's going to go back up. And those two things are, are things that are going to get you in trouble. Now, let's transition to the next phase. So if you're using this stop loss slash take profit, um, once this, once again, once you are in the money, let's say this thing move up to say um, six dollars per se. If this thing move up to six dollars and you are in the money, the next thing I want you to do is you can at that point, based on the direction, the direction of the, the the stock. If the stock keeps moving up, you can cancel this order at that point, and then do use what they call a trailing stop. So you can then use a trailing stop. So you can see here right here Weibo. So at that point, your sell order would you want to do a trailing stop. So you can input a trailing stop and then you can choose either price here or you can choose percentage. So you can trail by a certain percentage. So in this case, if it, if I'm at six dollars and I can I can put my trailing stop at say five percent. So if it drops five percent below six dollars, then kicking me out. Otherwise if it keeps going up, it can go to seven. Then if it drops 5% from seven, it kicks me out just like that. And that would be a very, very easy and simple way for you to take advantage of the stock moving up uh, continuously without necessarily selling everything if you are in the money. So those are two easy ways um, that you can actually leverage in the market to actually secure profit. But again, guys, remember, this is your mentality. Um, if you don't have that mindset, it's going to be difficult for you because each time you see yourself in the money, you want to hang on and think that it's going to keep going up. Um, or when you see that, oh, you're out of the money, then you're going to hang on again thinking that, oh, it's going to bounce back. So you have to be disciplined. Know exactly when to get out. Set your percentages and say, hey, if it hits this, it hit it. You're not supposed to win every trade. You're never going to win every trade. So the minute you come to that conclusion, the better for you. And then when you miss out on a trade, don't sit there and beat yourself up because, hey, if you follow your script the way you expect to hit, a, 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 a trade kicks you out, be happy. Not in the case where you didn't follow your script, but you mistakenly got into a good trade and made some money and then you're celebrating. That wasn't a strategy. That was a mistake. You cannot replicate that. And that's what's going to get you in trouble. Because you, if you don't have principles that you can replicate, if you're going by luck, 
your luck is going to run out really, really quick. So again, those are two uh, ways for you to secure profit. Number one, again, just a quick recap here. Number one is that you have to have a plan. Set your percentages as to how, how much you want to lose in a particular trade. Set that. So if it hits that, not that number, it kicks you out. And then set your percentage as far as your gains. And then you can also change that from uh, a bracket order to a trailing stop. Once you are in the money and feel comfortable, you can change that into a trailing stop to secure even more profit. So let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys think. What are you doing to secure profit right now? Again, the reason I'm answering this question is because a lot of you guys on the Discord server, if you're not part of it, uh, links in the description. Um, definitely come join us. This is where people are asking all these questions. So what are you doing to secure profit right now? If you don't have a plan, definitely you are up to a bad stat. You need to have a plan, a solid one. Again, let me know in the comment section um, what you guys think. If you're new here, we're talking about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free crypto or you get free stocks. I'll put the links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.